morning guys, welcome to Blackhead in Jaroa. Now my intention when I headed out tonight was, I thought I'd come down to the rocks here and do some kind of quarter second exposures, you know, get a bit of that nice little kind of movement in the waves, the longish exposure time. But there isn't very much of a swell at all. There are some waves breaking on the rocks, but they're not really coming up onto the rocks sufficiently to be of much interest in photographic terms. So I'm thinking of heading back down to the usual spot down on the beach where I noted there's an awesome sea mist. I don't know if you can see it, which is making things look very interesting indeed. So don't think I'm going to go down on the rocks today. I'm going to drive back down the corner, back down the hill, and uh, just go down on the beach again, I think. Can you see that rainbow cloud up there? I don't know if that's going to come through on the old GoPro or not. I believe those are caused by extremely high level clouds. The ice crystals in the clouds refracts the light and you get this rainbow effect. good chance of some colour in that sky tonight. Lots of beautiful high level cloud. And it's an absolutely stunning evening down here on the beach. 30 degrees at the moment. Time is 2 minutes to 7. Sunset is in 20 minutes. waded across the river, found a little shallow part, surprisingly deep at the mouth there. As you can see, the sun is just about to go down behind the national park there. But there are plenty of opportunities over here. It was a little bit busy that side of the river, lots of families and stuff. Anyway, I'm just coming down to the water's edge here. We're gonna get some beautiful reflections. Landscape photography is all about reacting to the conditions, isn't it? And adapting, changing what you're going to do. Camera can't focus. There we go. So now we dig in, hang around and wait and see what that sky does. How long have we got? Eight minutes. Gonna keep the zoom on for the time being because there's some surfers out there I quite like the look of. Okay folks, beautiful glassy reflections, golden reflections here in the sand. Amazing reflections like glass. Well, 
fisherman setting up over there. Just got a photograph of him. I think we're nearly at switch time. Get the wide angle on. in this location with this beautiful flat sand and when the tide is uh, out it reflects like glass it's beautiful oh black cockatoos black cockatoos if you see them supposed to be notice of an impending change of the weather which is absolutely spot on supposed to get absolutely shit some beautiful rays coming through there some early backlighting happening that early stage golden light you get there ain't much happening on the reverse a little bit of pink over there over the top of blackhead but it's so lovely i ain't going anywhere whether there's photos or not well, I don't want to be someone who judges, but what the hell happened to him? What killed that bird? Uh, I've got my standard beach loadout in the old Peak Designs bag today. Got the camera, of course, that's got the super wide on it at the moment. The big zoom, the 100 to 400. I've got a little 50 mil prime tucked in under there. Also, my uh, filters, uh, ND filters, and a circular polarizer. Um, there's bits and pieces in there, spare cards, and of course, under the bag, the old Leo Photo tripod. I did want to make an effort to come out today because. The weather's about to change for the worse here in south coast new south wales the beautiful warm end of summer slash early autumn weather we've been enjoying is changing soon and it's going to get much more unsettled lots of showers and gray skies and exactly the kind of conditions i'm not a huge fan of photographing so must take opportunities when you can so that's one of the reasons why i'm out tonight i'm a little bit disappointed that wasn't any good round at the rocks I quite fancied going around there there is a big swell hitting the other side of the headland but that's no use to me because the sun's setting this way well now i've got some pinks coming back hopefully they build get more colorful and vibrant Fingers crossed. thought us photographers lugged a load of crap around you see these fishermen Look how much shit they lug around his rods and his buckets and his chair and all sorts of crap doesn't look like it's going to do much 
with this color, it's already receding that golden light. And as the light diminishes, my thoughts return inevitably to my evening meal. Well, it wasn't to be. I did have some hopes that this beautiful red cloud here would cascade across this high level cloud, but some things blocking it that direction some cloud on the distance that i can't see so i'm going to go back to the car wade across the river here go back to the car and head home well, there we go folks all the best shots were earlier on today it was a front loaded photo shoot with that beautiful um light golden light as the sun was coming down sort of 20 25 minutes before sunset and I got some, I think, really awesome uh, silhouette shots. They're one of my favorites, as you know, if you follow my channel and subscribe, you'll have seen me talking about these kind of photographs before. I just love taking them. I find them extremely atmospheric and uh, I greatly enjoy taking them if you enjoyed the video. As always, please hit the old like button. It greatly assists me with the old YouTube algorithm and do subscribe if you like this content and the other stuff I've put out, the reviews of the software and everything. As always, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you the next time. Ta-ta, guys.